Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. It's actually a DXF file, but it'll work in Corel Draw. And I'm going to go and change that to red. And just uh, if you're cutting this out on a laser, you need to make sure that's a hairline. So we just double click on this and uh, change it to a hairline so you know it's going to cut out. And then you'd have to check all these pieces, and they're the same. So you'd have to select it all, and but that's not what he was asking. He was asking how he's going to get these names for falling out. Well, not only the name's going to fall out, but this whole circle's going to fall out. Um, this is going to disappear, and you can always find out by taking the Smart Fill tool and filling in the tree, and everything that's vacant, the inside's going to fall out. So just real quickly, and this name is broken up into letters. So we're gonna come out from the side, we're gonna select it all, we're gonna control G, and we're gonna group it. While that's selected, we're gonna grab our circle and then we're gonna hit CE, and that put Keith in the middle of the circle. My suggestion, I think all the circles are the same. That's 4.6. Yep, the, uh, the ovals are pretty much the same. So I would make you a, a bar and have to be very thick and then make you a duplicate of that bar that you can use for all the names and they'll all be the, don't do that. And then you can make duplicates of that or hit the plus sign and just make you six more. The plus sign will not move them where the control du duplicate will just keep moving them down. So then what I would do is I wouldn't move the Keith, I would move this. And you know, you've got your nudge factor set good and low, but we're gonna go 0 0.02. And we're gonna, and there's a way you could weld this, but we wanna go right where it's just touching. And then, like I said, you could weld this, but you've got so much other stuff going on. It'd be better just to take your uh, virtual segment delete key and delete these. Uh, lines, um, keeping that red one there. Um, so if you swipe through, a lot of times it'll hit that. Just make sure you don't have that. And then hit that and this, and this, and that. Now, when you use your Smart Fill tool, everything that's black will stay as wood. Now you could make it a little more decorative, um, you know, than my line. Um, you could actually take this line and probably select both of them and right click and convert them to a curve and then kind of get them, un unclick it, click it in the middle and then maybe curve that line down a little bit. You know, there's a lot of stuff you could do to make it look different, um, you know, put a little artistic ability to it but just uh, see what you think when it when you get it out. But just do that to each name. Make sure they're in the center, just like in before with this Nicole, it's not in the center. And take it and uh, grab your name first and see we can't grab them. But if you come from the side and as long as you don't get all that red and everything else, you'll get, well, we ended up getting this thing. Um, Let's go a little bit lower. As long as we don't get that whole thing and then control G and group it, hold down the shift key and grab both those and then C and E, we'll put it in the center and then just grab one of those lines and do it again. Now, if you liked you know, this curvature and you wanted them all the same, you could put two lines here and reduplicate that line and I just saw I missed a line here. Now, one thing that's smart, uh, to do this with the Smart Fill tool. Uh, let's say we're done and we're, we've got it all done. What I would do is take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in and then grab your Smart Fill and move it out of the way. And that's, of course, this is after you've done them all. And now this is your new line and everything's gonna be a hairline then, even your interior leaves of your parts because they've all been connected and we could go up here and go to object and break curve apart and just kind of prove that that is now a hairline. You know, there's a lot you could play around with this. Um, you know, you could 
even maybe add a leaf. Uh, you could take your virtual segment delete key and just delete this part. And then that's still gonna be all one piece. Um, maybe add a, you know, a embellishment here, a squiggle, um, you know, another leaf you know, or anything, but that's not what he was asking. He really wanted to know how he could keep them from falling out. That's about the only way. Now you could, um, I'm going to make a second video on how you could change that up a little bit. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.